Hey, I'm Haley. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are car camping with our family. So I wanted to show you everything I pack for our car camping trips. Uh, in our family, we have me, my husband, our two kids who are three and 19 months and our dog. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna show you what we pack in our REI. This is the pack away bin. They make two sizes. Ours is the smaller, but I can't remember how many liters it is right now. Basically, this is all of our soft goods. So right on top, I have mine and Logan's, my husband's camp slippers. These are the Teva Ember Mocks. I really love these shoes because they're just nice to slip on. They have the bottoms just fold right down so you can slip them on easily. They're lightly insulated, a little bit water resistant. So they're just perf the perfect camp shoe and you just wanna slip something comfortable on your feet in the morning when you hop out of your tent. And then I always obviously bring our sleeping bags. Those are on the bottom. So a sleeping bag for all of us. For my kids, I have the Morrison outdoor sleeping bags. Love these. I also bring a couple pillows. Um, this one's for my toddler. I actually bring my pillow from home. It's still in our truck, um, but I have my silk pillowcase on it. I love that. It's my favorite luxury item to bring car camping. I bring a couple extra blankets. This one is to lay underneath us. It is fleece lined, so that'll just kind of be our base under us so it's kind of soft. And this is our blanket for our dog. It's like a synthetic. We It's nice and big so we can lay under him and still throw it over him so he um, stays warm and our tent stays clean, which is so nice. And then last in here is this small, I think it's another one of the REI pack away bins or stowaway bins. So this in here, I just keep our jackets and beanies. So I have a jacket for all of us couple beanies in here, but it's nice to have them all contained so they're not just like loose floating amongst our gear. I actually just saw in here, this is the 100 liter pack away bin. And this one is the 25 liter pack away. So those are the sizes I have and love. Next up, I'm gonna show you what we keep in our waterproof tote. I'm gonna take the lid off. First up we have our our griddle in here so this just so it just opens up like this it's got a burner on hey sweetheart i have a visitor she can take the lid off so it's got the burner on one side and then the skillet on the other which i really like they don't make this exact model anymore but i will have something similar linked down below i'm just going to kind of grab it random here but i have a cutting board and this is our emergency food so basically this is food in case we are extra hungry or we forgot something so i have a couple of pre-cooked rice and bean dishes from a dozen cousins yeah it's like that these you just like add water like you can boil these or um then you can eat them cold they're like already cooked so that's kind of nice to have on hand. I also have a couple of spoon and forks in here. And then I have some fruit leather, almond butter packets, granola bars, some electrolytes. So this just kind of always stays in here because this stuff is in a temperature regulated area. So I just keep checking the expiration dates to make sure everything's still good. I have our first aid kit. This one is actually for humans and dogs, so that's great to have. I keep our fuel in here. We have a pot in here. This is just one I grabbed from home. Um, we don't have any designated camp cookware right now. We have one pan, but we needed a pot for this trip because we're gonna boil water for oatmeal. Um, we have our toilet kit. This is new to me, but this is from a brand called Pact, and they make this really nice lightweight trowel that's easy to hold. Um, this one comes with hand sanitizer, but the cool thing about this company is these tablets they make. So basically these are a fungus and you drop them in after you go poop in your cat hole and it just helps the poop uh, decompose 10 times faster than it normally would on its own. So amazing. And then they also have these dehydrated tablet wipes. So these wipes are little tabs. You just add water to them and they expand. I will insert a clip of me showing how they work, but they're really nice. They do say they're decomposable. I personally would pack them out just to make sure um, everything's good. Really awesome, small company. We threw some of its dog food in here, so we got that. I have our bear spray in here, which I need to pull out and make sure this is more readily available. I do that as soon as we get to camp. Got some cards for us in case the kids let us play a game. A battery pack. This one gives my phone four charges, but I can also charge like my camera or the kid's sound machine or their Yodo player. So I like having this. 
But when I car camp, I almost always bring our power station. This is the Jackery 240. Um, so you can see I have lots of plugs in here. Um, I always bring this on our car camping trips. And the last thing in here is this bin. And this is just our small items contained. This is our bug gear. So I have some bug sprays, have it in the bag so it doesn't leak. And a bug net, this just goes over your head. It works a little better if you have a hat on because then you can pull it out. But it's to keep the mosquitoes off your face. So they're not too bad right now, but if they do get bad, I will wear this. I have headlamps for all of us, including our 19 month old baby, but otherwise she will be taking one of ours. This is our only kid specific one. It's um, the Black Diamond Wiz. It's really nice. It's not super bright, so your kid doesn't blind you. It's lightweight. So we always bring headlamps when we car camp or backpack. I also have some hand warmers, an emergency blanket, as well as some cash um, in case we go to a campsite and ever forget to bring cash to pay. We're at a dispersed site right now, so we don't actually have to pay. Um, our National Parks Pass lets us be up in the area without having any additional fees. I also have a lighter, but uh, my husband's using it to start the fire, so thank you, Logan. Crazy. <laughs> Watch the wind. Whew. For water, we always bring a few Nalgene's full and then this is our water jug. I'm pretty sure that you can get this at REI or Walmart. I can't 100% remember how much. It's like around seven gallons, 22 liters, somewhere around there. Great to have on hand so we can wash our hands, drink out of it, whatever you need water for. And then our cooler, this is our Arctic soft cooler. Um, we usually bring this on just overnighters. If we are going on a longer camping trip, we'll bring our hard cooler, but this suits our needs just fine. So tonight we're doing hot dogs for dinner. Um, so that's what we needed, the hot dogs, ketchup and mustard in here. And then some of the kids' snacks are in here. Like I have a couple apples that are nice to have cool. And then we're gonna do oatmeal for breakfast. So that didn't need to be refrigerated. So cooler. And then of course we bring camp chairs. So ours are just your run-of-the-mill camp chairs. We do have a toddler specific one. This one's from REI, it's great. Um, my toddler really likes having his own chair. That is pretty much everything we bring car camping with us. I'm sure I missed a couple things, but that's the gist. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I will have, again, everything linked down below if you're interested in seeing. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.